Hello everyone, I welcome you all, friends, space enthusiasts, and fellow explorers. My name is Commander Josh Hawkins, and I'm broadcasting this message to you. I set out recently to explore and record the wonders of our galaxy. I hope to see some of the rarest and most beautiful views our galaxy has to offer, and I'm currently here, just outside the Carina Sagittarius spiral arm, some 12,200 light years from Earth, sitting next to this nebula. The target I set as my first long-distance destination in part of what I hope will become an incredible journey through our galaxy. Although it's taken me quite some time to reach my current position, I can't help but feel that this journey has only just begun. I've already seen so many wonderful systems along the way, from neutron stars, planetary nebula, some amazing planets, and even a few black holes. But since I've finally reached my first target system, I've decided to start broadcasting some of the rarer sites to you, so that no matter where you are, you can share the experience of traveling thousands of light years through our Milky Way galaxy with me as your guide. I hope you enjoy what I have to share. You're certainly getting the best parts of it without the hours of space travel. So sit back and enjoy the ride. For my first broadcast, I'm sending images from the Blay Hypi sector. My system scan indicated a Class F star with a nice variety of planets, including a Class Y brown dwarf star with its own ring system, two very large gas giants, and a high metal content planet weighing in at a whopping 77 Earth masses, by far one of the heaviest I've seen. Aside from several moons and a couple of smaller planets, there was a set of twin high metal content worlds. Both had roughly the same look, size, and weight, each with its own ring system and a small moon. But what really surprised me was what was orbiting just 60 light seconds from the host star. any hot Jupiters, and I'd hoped to see one during the trip. So I was delighted when the system scan came up with not one, but two class 4 gas giants orbiting so closely to each other and their central star. One of the gas giants is a little bigger than the other. Both planets are still quite large, weighing in somewhere between the size and mass of our own Uranus and Saturn. With identical chemical compositions, I imagine they both formed at the same time and would be considered sibling planets. With the smaller planet being tidally locked to the larger, it would seem that the younger sibling is always admiring the elder. And unlike their high metal content twin sisters who are casually strolling around the system, both these siblings speed around their parent star once every three days. As I prepared to leave the system, I turned around for one last glance, and though the parent star's gaze fell upon the older child, the jealousy it held for its sibling was quite apparent. I hope you enjoyed my broadcast and that you'll stay tuned for more. If you liked the video, please click the like button below and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll know when my next broadcast is sent.